So, if last week's video was about less exciting news, today's video is about very exciting news. Because the AWRC just announced its plans for what's left of 2024 and for the upcoming year. Yes, fellas, they didn't let us down. So, let's dive in and see what this is about. So, right from the start, we can see that in 2024, we will be greeted with a new expansion, DLC packs, free rally pass and more. Ever since the launch of Esports WRC last year, we received tons of feedback from fans about the game, how they play and what they would like to see in the future. So yeah, they listened to us. Today we can begin sharing what we've been working on with the announcement of our 2024 roadmap, including exciting new content for rally fans to explore and enjoy. Okay, so what's this about? I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit. So we have a free update, which is season six rally pass. This wasn't really planned out. Let's see, liveries, suits, helmets and more. So some of the cosmetic stuff. I'm, I'm guessing there won't be any official liveries in this update, but we'll see. WRC 2024 season expansion, which comes in October 2024. Okay, we're gonna get new locations, new cars and new cosmetics. Oh boy, maybe we'll get Poland or we'll get Latvia. New cars, hmm, maybe they put the Yaris as a hint, maybe we'll get a WRC2 Yaris, who knows. And new cosmetics, I'm hoping and I'm guessing that they're talking about the official liveries, like the ones right here in those pictures. Ford has been changing the livery almost from event to event, but I'm hoping to see them all, why not? Summer in winter 2024 or 2025, we'll get again new stages and more new stages. We can see they're not new locations. Maybe they're talking about new stages on the old locations. And second DLC, which comes in spring 2025. Again, new stages and more. What else? What else? As the 2024 FIA WRC season hits up, we're delighted to announce that EA Sports WRC season expansion will release in October. Okay. This expansion pack will bring players up to date with the current season of the sport, featuring new locations, rally stages, high performance vehicles, liveries and more. So yeah, uh, the game was released in 2023, so if we're looking at the 2023 WRC calendar, we're gonna see the exact same stages that were at the release date in the game. But this year WRC has made a few changes, like um, instead of Estonia, they added Latvia, and instead of Mexico, they added Poland. So I'm very confident that the uh, new locations are Latvia and Poland. High performance vehicles, like I said, the most demanded car by everybody, which is the WRC2 Yaris. And liveries, I'm hoping to see, and I'm sure that they're talking about the new official liveries. I also made my own for the GR Yaris a few months ago in the livery editor. Players who purchased, okay, so here we are. <laughs> Players who purchase the EA Sports WRC Season Expansion will also receive an additional two DLC packs post-launch, more on those below. So, following the launch of EA Sports WRC Season Expansion, two additional DLC packs will be released. The first coming this winter and the second in spring of 2025, DLC 1 and DLC 2, which will come as a free update if you buy the WRC 2024 Season Expansion. Players who purchase the season expansion will receive this at no extra cost and those without the expansion can purchase the packs individually. These team DLC packs will contain new cars, additional rally stages for existing locations, moments and more. So yeah, exactly like I said above, new stages for existing locations. That's, that's really interesting. Also, I'm curious if there will be new stages for each location, but I'm hoping to see new stages for every location because some of the locations are one long road, for example, 20 to 30 kilometers, the other stages are just pieces of that long road. But if you've ever attended a rally and have checked the stage locations, you may be familiar with the fact that the stages are on separate roads that the pilots have to travel a long way to the other stage. It's not just like one road and we're just splitting that road into many, many other stages. We'll share more details later this year, follow us on social media to get the latest news. Perfect! Oh, eSports WRC coming soon! Finally, eSports WRC is still in development and we're almost ready to share the official competition, information and event calendar, as we continue to work with our partners on the finer details of the series. The 2024 season is expected to consist of online qualifiers via Racenet, 
and an in-person final where the top players compete for the title of eSports WRC World Champion. The series will challenge players across a range of locations and conditions in Rally 1 cars. Oh, 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 look at this. Uh, there's never been a better time to jump into EA Sports WRC or return after some time away. Man, I'm hoping to see a lot of people coming back. Overall, it's a great game. Yeah, it has its ups and downs. It has a lot of potential, it's challenging, it's, it's good. But I'm also hoping to see that they will be fixing the actual stages because I don't want to see new stages, new locations and new cars with the same bugs that are right now in the game because we'll be paying some extra bucks for this expansion. Yeah, I mean, there is no game without bugs, but I'm hoping that they will reach a at least 90 to 95 percent of bug free game. I don't know what to say about the price, but I'm hoping that this DLC's price won't just blow a hole in our pockets. I can't wait to try the new locations, to make videos about them for you guys. I'm not happy about the state at uh, which the game is right now. And following the update 1.9, I've heard a lot of negative things. For some people, the game doesn't even launches. Me and some friends have um, experienced a lot of frame drops again on Mediterranean. One friend even got a puncture from a misplaced collision. You can see clearly in the photo mode that he wasn't even close to those rocks. Also some trees render when you're just a few meters away from them, on locations like Finland. I'm hoping that in 13th of July, the Season 6 Rally Pass will also come with a update. Maybe try to fix these bugs, or some of them at least. But yeah, I'm hoping for the best for the 2024 season. <coughs> Not only because of the new location, new cars and new stages, but also making the game bug free and more enjoyable and more alive. So yeah, good job EA. I give you a thumbs up for this one. I can't wait to see the new locations, the new cars, the new stages, the new everything. Leave a like, be sure to check my other videos. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about the 2024 roadmap update? What cars are you hoping to see, what new locations, what liveries, what new stages. And as always, see you on the track. Bye bye!